Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we've got an average word problem here today. Just fair warning to you, if you've never heard of the concept of average, also known as mean or arithmetic mean, this is not the video for you. Uh, this is not a starting level video. Um, making this one because GED students have got to start looking at some more complex examples of mean or average. What I find is that you guys all know how to, you know, do an average when you're given a list of numbers, but then you're faced with the kind of complexity you see on the GED and you lose your mind and get those problems wrong. So let's take a look. It says, after taking the first three tests, Janice currently has a 78 test average in algebra. So what do we know from this statement here? We know that she's taken three tests and that the average of those three tests was 78. What will she need to score on her fourth and final test to raise her test average to an 80? So not only is this a, an average question of higher complexity, man, this comes up in students' lives all the time. They come and ask me, miss, what do I need to score on this so I could get this grade? Okay, so here you go, one video and you'll know how to do this. Okay, so we want to try to raise this person's test average to an 80. Okay, we know their current average. Um, problem is when we go around finding averages, you know, we usually know the individual scores and we don't know any individual scores here. All we know is averages. But this is what I want you to remember. An average is like the number you would have if you got the same grade on all the tests. It's like sharing the grades equally between the tests or sharing the points equally between the tests. So even though she didn't necessarily get a 78 on all three of her tests, it's like she got a 78 on all three of her first tests if she has a 78 average in algebra. I don't actually know what the individual scores are, but I do know that they will total up to 78 times 3 because it's like she got a 78 score on all three tests. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and multiply by 3. Instead of dividing, I'm not dividing because I'm not finding the average. I'm multiplying because I want to work backwards, starting with the average to get up to the total number of points. Whoops. I know how to multiply. I should probably... Uh, not talk and multiply at the same time. <laughs> so, um, but we want to start with her average and get up to the total number of points she currently has. So three times eight is 24. Seven times three is 21 plus two is 23. So right now we know she has a total of 234 points in her class for those tests. Now we might not know you know, what the individual scores are, but we do have enough information to figure out the total. Okay, so this is the total she has. Uh, now, we again can compare that to the total she wants. So if we have, uh, if we know the total she has, we could compare it to the total she wants. Well, what does she want? What do we know about what she wants right now? She wants a test average of 80. Again, having a test average of 80 on how many tests? Well, we're talking about what she's going to score in her fourth test. So now this will be over the course of all four tests. To have a test average of 80, that would mean she would have to have a total of 320 points. Okay, so she needs a total of 320 points. She currently has a total of 234 points. We can figure out the difference, the test score, by subtracting. The remaining test score is the difference here. So we'll go ahead and subtract. And let's see, zero, I need to borrow, that one will go one. Down to one, that one will go up to 10. 10 minus four is six. I need to borrow again. Down to two, up to 11. 11 minus three is eight. And she would need at least an 86 in order to get her test average up to an 80. Great, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.